video in the series, this is the light for the uh, milling machine. Um, in the previous videos, you see me tear the light bulb apart and pull the out, pull the light out, and build the uh, the frame for the LED light. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, JB Weld holds up to I, don't, I can't remember three or four hundred degrees. I hope it don't ever get that hot. I don't know if this is a uh, thermal transfer or a thermal insulator, but uh, since we're just doing this off the cuff, we'll just assume that it's going to work. And then I'll go ahead and try to make it as thin as possible, but to still hold. Um, I'm going to rough this up here, because believe it or not, sometimes JB Weld does just peel loose. And this is aluminum here, but I'm just going to hope and pray that that sticks. And um, I'm not going to mix it on the tray or anything. I'm going to mix it right here where I need it. This is the uh, quick stuff, by the way. I think like an hour or something is all it takes. Uh, equal parts. This is epoxy. Exactly equal parts. Actually, if you put more hardener in this, this will uh, harden quicker. And just mix this until it's a uniform color. It doesn't take too long. Okay. All right. Got my light. Um, I do want to try to clean this edge up here a little bit. Clean this edge up here a little bit. Yeah, we got a little extra right there. And I have clips for that. They're right here for that. To hold this down. Alright. So I'll put that in the epoxy there. I'll take these clips. They're pretty strong spring clips. Uh, these are kind of the stuff that you like, may for instance find on a, a battery charger, maybe maybe a little weaker than that. Okay, I'm gonna do one more thing. Oh, as a side note, I told you about the field trip over to Dad's. Uh, that happened this Sunday. Uh, Dad's nickname is Battery Don, and that's because he likes batteries. Uh, typically lead, lead acid batteries, and well, he's got some. Probably more some than anybody who's not a battery manufacturer. I don't know if we'll see them, but they are there. Just tie that wire up so it's not pulling or anything. And I think I see that the LED moved, not that anybody will ever notice, but let's try to straighten that back out a little bit. Okay, so that's good. Uh, nope, it's still crooked. Okay, maybe I'm just seeing stuff. All right, I'm going to call that good. We'll let this sit for an hour or so. Um, but while we're letting it uh, dry up, we'll kind of design a, how the electrical is going to work.